a beginner wakeboarder is looking to start jumping the wake or doing some tricks, the ollie is a great first thing to learn. It can help you get a feel for being in the air and allow you to try some simple tricks before taking them wake to wake. We'll show you some other fun things you can do with an ollie, but first, let's go through the trick itself. Now the ollie may seem like a simple trick, and that's because it is. It is still easy to mess up though for someone who doesn't know how to do it. The main problem that we see when people are trying an ollie is that they'll try to jump off the water with both legs. For anyone who's tried this, you'll know that this doesn't work. It just feels like your board is stuck on the water and it's not going anywhere. As you can see here, when you try to go up and the board is still flat, there's too much surface tension with the water and it just keeps it down. The way to get your board off the water when you ollie is by breaking that surface tension. Now enough about surface tension, let me just tell you how to do this. The way you want to do an ollie is very simple. Just push down with your back leg and lift up with your front leg. This motion will break the surface tension with the water and it will also create a ramp of water for your board to launch out of the water off of. As you can see here, when the back leg goes down and the front leg goes up, it almost looks like there's a ramp of water that your board will use to exit the water. Lifting your nose out of the water breaks that surface tension and allows you to get into the air. This is what it looks like to do it on land, and if you try this and then try it on the water, you'll be in the air in no time. You can ollie higher by just pushing down harder with your back leg. Now although you know how to do the trick, there could still be some problems. One of the biggest thing I see is that people don't hold their form throughout the trick. If you ollie off the water and lose your form, you might fall over the front and take a nose edge. And those hurt a lot. So make sure to keep your hip pushed up to the handle and have a comfortable lean back, just like you would wakeboarding on the water. One of the main things that people do is use the ollie at the cable park. When you're at the cable park, there's a lot of ollies, rails, and other features that you have to ollie onto. So learning how to ollie will make your time at the cable park a lot more fun. Another fun thing you can do is ollieing over the rollers that your own boat created. Like I said earlier, there are tricks you can do with the ollie that can get you ready to do the trick wake to wake. Tricks like this are variations of 180s and some 360s. There are a ton of other fun things to do with the ollie, and we want to hear what you do down in the comments below. Although it's a simple trick, it's great to learn and can help you with a lot of different things in wakeboarding. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like and comment which video you want us to make next time. We'll be making a ton of videos this summer, so subscribe so you don't miss any of them. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you at the lake.